that's over. But the root nexus also gives me if I can find a way inside. It also gives me access to a new amulet, which is a hollowed egg. Here, you know what? Before we do anything, let's go and rest. Just so I know the enemies and all this music and shut the hell up. Okay. Alright, new amulet. Okay. Spending at least 30% of a firearm's magazine to deal damage increases melee by... S ah, stupid. I mean, that would be... No, it's... Eh. Nah. Nah, I'm not too worried about it. I'm, I might be able to do something like kind of cheesy with it if I use the cube gun for it, but I don't know. I just like having the, the more range damage when, when I'm at max health. That's just really good. Not to mention it has lifesteal. <laughs> as soon as that fucking meatball came out, he just got demolished. It's not like he's going to be able to dig up. Scoob! Get your ass up here! God. I hate, I hate how they made the fucking, like, ability button the same button as your relic. Okay. Not sure why that happened. Not sure why this is happening. fist on the ground one just because I don't need to stand in it I mean it does it does get increased because my AoE uh, trait so let me go here go here okay uh alright I guess I'll check out this way first I think this is the way with the uh the portal. Yep. Oh, and this is a uh a not a non objective uh area like portal. It would be an objective if it had the mission symbol above it, but it doesn't so that means this area is optional. So I think I'll I think maybe I'll check out this area and then I'll inspect uh you know down here because I'm sure that'll probably lead me to the mission, you know. And then after that and then after that I think I'll check out the uh, the puzzles. Try and big brain it. And why is this here?
their mm, end arenas and hold up before we god damn it I was gonna say before I do anything let me hmm. okay that's kind of nice the healing shield only lasts for 10 seconds yup but in that time oh it shields all allies so probably even scoob while shielded they regenerate 26 percent of their max health over the duration okay so maybe it doubles my health for a time being while it restores like 26 percent of my health i suppose something like that I, I recognize an area like this. This was something that was... What the... Oh! I was gonna say, this is something that was... This is like an area that was giving me root rot and everything. That was only from like, big guys shooting big old cannons and whatnot. What? You're really gonna get up in my face like that and fuck up my cam. Oh shit. Alright, time to fire the time to fire the tentacles. What is hitting me from behind? Seriously, what is hitting me from behind? Block it, block it, block it, block the projectile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy oh, dear. Shoot, 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 shoot. Please shoot it, please. The fuck? It may have made me that mad, but it did. Alright, come on. Alright. Okay, did not. I, I pressed LB, or should I say, held LB once so I could use my. Ability. I did not use the relic. Let's get back clear. Oh, Seriously, sick. Yeah, just kill me, bro. Just kill me. I don't give a fuck. Some of, some of the some of the fucking enemies in this game are absolute fucking dog shit, bro. Like I don't understand how some of these enemies got got past like the the so-called smart people that work at these companies. Like holy shit, bro. They're like, yeah, let's put an enemy in multiple areas that when you shoot them, they're just resistant. Like, their damage resistance is literally just like... <sighs> like, like if I had to put a fucking number on it, like, holy shit, bro. Oh my god, like... It, it, in combat? Huh? What the fuck? Yeah, I was in combat over 30 fucking meters away. It's fucking fantastic. Yeah, Root Nexus is where I would need to continue. Yeah, yeah, I would have to go there. Um, the Lost Temple is the one with the harp. Cathedral of Omens is the one with the... So let me say this. Puzzle area 
puzzle to unlock an area. I'm pretty sure I did all of Faithless Thicket because a part of Faithless Thicket is the root nexus. And then that leads me to a new area. And then this is optional. So optional. Optional puzzle. Puzzle that will complete a quest, which is most likely optional. Hmm. So the question is, like, do I want to go back and upgrade some of my stuff? Because that just that just really pissed me off right there. Uh, it really did. Um. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go back just to see what the hell this uh. The soul sliver will be if it's if it's anything better than the tentacle. I mean, tentacle's not that bad, to be honest. Since I'm using arrows, that actually works really well. Fire a rotten arrow that deals 20 damage to, and detonates for another 60 within 4 meters. Leads a deadly da gas cloud. Yeah. Gas cloud, yeah. I'll deal with it. How goes it, friend? How goes it? Yeah, so these are all the weapons that I have, but I mean the nightfall isn't half bad on the on the aspect of it's a boss weapon and also it has it also has dreadwalker, you know. It says you become slightly harder to hit. 10% life steal, fully automatic, increase the fire rate, infinite ammo. It's really good. cube shield absorbs up to 500 in enemy projectiles refiring it the damage increased if it has absorbed the projectile oh so i should so i should kind of fire it when i'm uh getting hit okay or like after i'm getting hit i should say Just got an achievement. Good, but it could be better. Upgrade a standard weapon to plus 10. Fuck it. Plus 11. Alright, and there's my other achievement for almost there. Upgrade a boss weapon to plus 5. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is also a technically considered a wait pause plus six needs 15 galvanized iron so long. i mean then again it is something that does 30 damage that does has infinite and it's so like so like i love how we can see the dps so i'll just do body shots Yeah, so with that whole thing, I'm averaging about 400 damage per second. That's really good. And then what about the head? Averaging about 700. That's really good. Um, and then let's go here. Let's go here. Let's get the raw and arrow. Do I have a mutator that I put on this? Yeah, I definitely need to. Uh, whenever it scores a critical hit, increases the critical chance and damage. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't know how, why I haven't had that on. I think I looked at that at one point, and I and I did that thing where I just like think I put it on, just like with weapons. Like I'll I'll put like a mutator on a weapon or like a new mod, and then I'll just like get out of the menu and I'll just be like, oh, I never actually equipped it. So now I gotta check to see, and it's just for crits, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I was averaging 700, I believe, for a headshot. Spam. 
mean, I was still averaging 700. Yeah. Critical chance and critical damage. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's all about them crits. Wait, how many rotten arrows can I have? Three, okay. Well, at least there's no arc to it. Oh, that's nice. Stick him with it, I'll just be like, take it, bam, bam. Oh, and you can kind of hit him with a rapid fire if you got him. trying to get the perfect shot just so I can spam it okay yeah so like if I have it equipped I can so the real question is does the gas stack it might not which would be understandable yeah, it's look like it's yeah, yeah, it, that's doing the same amount of 25s as it is when I just throw every single like arrow. So, it does do the detonation, but it doesn't necessarily stack the um gas damage. I mean, it's stacking the detonation because it's obviously detonation. It's not an effect, but yeah. Okay. I love how I haven't even done anything in that. It's crazy this game's so huge i think i have to beat maybe both these areas totally to unlock maybe this final area or something like that all right uh yep yep now that i got i mean yeah i was gonna say i don't think there's really much of anything else i could upgrade per se um yeah i was just gonna say let's just go back and beat up them guys I mean, this I've upgraded from plus zero to plus five, and this I've upgraded from plus five to plus eleven. Wow. Oh no. I was gonna say, don't put me on top of that, because if I were to roll off or like land here, I, I think I would have taken quite a bit of damage. Alright, I've already searched all that area to the right. <gasps> I was gonna miss this. A tree. Oh, blood bond. I never even looked at that. Archetype summons absorb 0% of damage taken by the caster. Archetype summons. But the question is, is this technically considered a summon? It says companion will follow. So it's a companion. It's not necessarily a summon. So maybe there's a... Maybe that grimoire um, with the blood moon essence or like another archetype summons. But until then, I don't necessarily need it. I'll just have it upgrade, or I'll just have the level one just so I can have all the cards filled in. Oh, I just realized, I think my power level started at seven. Now it's 11. Ooh, very nice. 7-Eleven. All right, come on, where are you, asshole? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Is there really no big guy? Where? Oh! Ah! This game's like scary, but it isn't. Like, that's the only time that this game scares me, is when an enemy just jumps in front of my screen. Oh, 
hello. Ba bam I got kicked from my party in that fight for no reason at all. That's that's why I didn't really say anything right there, but wow, that was like Can anybody explain to me what happened to my cube shield? Like it just totally went away at one point and then I shot it with RB and it like came at me. Like I was thinking like I was thinking I was like right here or something and it shot when I was like right here trying to uh, shoot it. Very strange. Increase consumable and relic use speed. Bro, if I, if I if I increase my relic use speed any more than I already have it, it's just gonna be like instantaneous. It's crazy. Shut up. Get katana By the edge of the forest, yes. Okay, pussy. Oh my god. Are you telling me I shot over his head for real? Aw oh, hell, here we go. I just have no idea where I'm supposed to shoot this guy. It's like he's a mini boss. What am I running into? Drop me a crystal. Well, at least that's over. If I fight any of those dudes, I, I I will expect a crystal or two. If they don't drop anything, I'ma be pissed. I'ma be more pissed than I was fighting and dying to them. Is that a door? It is, but it's locked. Of course it is. Another ring. Oh, quest complete. End Enderina's endless loop. After sprinting for two seconds, I gain 0.5 health. Really? So I can just sprint and actually just like.
and just like uh, health regen. That's very interesting. Um, but I'm kind of confused. Why did it say quest complete? What quest? What quest was there for me? But I did see this book here. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that door open? I mean, if the door is not open, how can the quest be complete? You know what I mean? I mean, that would be unless... I don't know. Maybe there's some area that, uh... Oh, I never went to the right! I'm a fool. Alright, alright, let's go start that right area. Gas cloud, just in case. I just love blowing him up with the arrow. Whoa. I wonder what that is. Boss fight! Um. Okay, I guess I lied. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a dirty, stinking liar. It just seems like really cool for an area just to be like loot. Ranged fire rate and it's new and I guess plus three hold up Weak spot damage health. Yeah, let's get rid of the weak spot damage put Fire rate hell. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know it's not really gonna work much from my bow, but For my for my cube gun absolutely See I feel like that's a trick the wind. Like, let me just... What? Okay, I guess not. Oh. It was a trick! It was a trick! Son of a bitch! Nah, there's no shot. Wow. And what the... Alright, now, now we're gonna go back. I, uh, I'm gonna say it once and I'll say it again. And I'm probably going to continue to say it over time. I can't fucking stand that they put the same button for the relic as you gotta press and hold just to use your ab so, flip. I just think it's really weird. I mean, the the easiest thing they could have done just to uh, just to get around that would be to uh, um, what's it called? Just have it on aiming down, you know. Well, I'm ADS. That's it. Whoa. Oh, that was odd. <laughs> Loom away. Literally. Oh. Sure, if I fall down there, I'll probably just die.
Oh my god, is this how I figure out the harp? Wait a minute. Jump down. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This has got to be the way I figure it out. Okay. First picture. Bam. Alright. Second one. Alright. Third one. Uh, I don't remember seeing that symbol on the harp, but let's hope. This one is a brand, uh, not, not a brand new one, but, you know, something that I haven't seen while climbing up this thing. And finally, the comma, <laughs> the apostrophe, the comma, whatever. All right, but I feel like this is a great place to leave it off. When we come back, we are going to be doing the most tedious work of all. And that is we are going to go back to not only the cathedral, but we are going to go and do the harp as well. And in the next stream, we are going to be solving those puzzles. And it is only when I solve both of those puzzles, and I believe with the harp, there's an area, like a side area that can go along with it. Once I have done those, then we will continue our story at the the one boss we just beat, uh, the root core something like that uh yeah and then we're going to be continuing there onto the main area so in the next one we are going to be doing some big brain stuff solving some puzzles and then we are going to continue on all in the story but we're going to be doing all that in the next one and i hope to see you then peace